Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and today I'm going to be do doing a short video comparison between Borderlands 2 running natively on Ubuntu versus it running on Windows 8. So I haven't done a video in a long time, I know, I'm sorry for that, I've been busy with my work as a beginner network engineer. But less of that, let's get on with the video. As you'll notice, the settings here are as maxed as I can set them as far as I believe, 1920 by 1080p, both on Ubuntu and Windows 8, I've set them the same. As you can see, we've put VSync off, uh, anisotropic filtering is 16 times, bullet decals high, foliage distance is far, texture quality is high, game detail is high, ambient occlusion is on, depth of field is on, FXAA, view distance, but PhysX is disabled. Now apparently it is not available for Linux currently, so on Ubuntu it's disabled and I've made sure to disable it on Windows 8 as well. So on the right hand side is Windows 8, on the left hand side is Ubuntu 14.04. Now, the videos won't be perfectly synchronized, so this isn't a perfect benchmark. I am sorry for that, but as far as I know, there isn't any way to properly benchmark this game. I could be wrong. So what I've done is I've tried to play through the intro for a short bit and try and synchronize my actions between the platforms. So on Ubuntu, I'm using GLX OSD to represent the frames per second on the top left there. And on Windows 8, I am using MSI Afterburner to present the frames. That's why you see D3D9 on the Windows 8 side. So we're looking at a steady 60 frames per second before entering into the main menu. We see it drop just now down to 18, down to 4 as it loads on the Ubuntu side. It dropped as well on the Windows side, but not as low. I am not sure if it is a loading issue for the graphics renderer on the Ubuntu side, or if it's just my hard drive taking sweet time to load. Could be either one. However, this is a graphics intensive game. As you can see on both sides, they do drop quite a bit. I'm going to skip this uh, intro video because it doesn't really matter so to performance. It's going to be 30 frames per second here. regardless of one what resolution you play it on. Pandora, At least it should be 30 frames per second regardless. If not too bad. So I skip it on both. I'm going to start up with an assassin just for the sake of it. So we're seeing at this menu, for some reason, Ubuntu is sitting at 46 frames per second, while on Windows 8 it's sitting at 61. But once you get into the gameplay, both go back to normal. Well, Windows 8 stays consistent at 60, but Ubuntu goes up and down. Not a lot, but it's enough that when I'm recording it, I am surprised. However, it does even out later on as we get into gameplay further on. We're seeing about 10 frames per second loss compared to... It, uh, compared to Windows 8. This is still a fresh port. I don't believe it's been updated yet as of release. I could be wrong though. 48, 50 frames per second versus Windows 60. Yeah, we're seeing anywhere from 12, 10 frames per second difference here. If I'm calculating this correctly in my mind. Yep. Not moving here yet. Just seeing how it goes with the win effects on the screen and we're definitely seeing average of 47 50 on Ubuntu side was consistently at 61 on Windows so yeah this is about 15 10 frames per second difference with Ubuntu being on the lower side I am using the 340.46 drivers for Ubuntu and the 340.43 drivers for Windows 8 if I'm not wrong they should be the latest that I can get my hands on stable Now I will note that I played this co-op with a friend on Arch Linux and a friend on Windows 7 and it is absolutely awesome. I cannot notice any frame loss when I'm actually playing. So even though we're seeing about 10 frames per second less here, it is not visible on my screen. However, if I do turn around rapidly left or right, then I will notice screen tearing on both platforms. So as you can see, the videos start to go out of sync here. That is because I am playing by hand, not actually recording it using a demo or anything like that. So I apologize for that. So from here on out, we're just going to be getting a glimpse of what it looks like in this area. How are the frames per second? As you can see on the Ubuntu side, it has gone back up to the 60 frames and seems to be doing solid. I'm not sure if it's initially taking its time to load the scenes and so that's affecting the frames per second or not. Alright, we're waiting here for the Windows side to catch up to the Linux side. I moved a bit too slow on the Windows 8. Should have moved a bit faster. Okay, here we are back again continuing both. So this is what it would be like if you're on an NVIDIA card 
whether you're on the 600 series or 700 series or even the 900 series, you should be pretty well off. You'll be getting close to Windows performance. Uh, and if they update it into the future, which I'm pretty sure they will after the pre-sequel is out, then very likely we will have no differences with the Windows version. Currently, there are two diff major differences between the Windows version and the Linux version, but I'll get to that at the end of the video. We're still seeing the Ubuntu side losing at most 10 frames compared to Windows 8 once we're actually inside the scene. There's just that beginning part where the wind was blowing about. Maybe maybe it's not so good with the uh, particle effects. I'm not sure what's happening there. However, right now we're seeing both in the 60 frames range with a difference of, well, practically indifferent. One, two frames per second, no difference. As you can see, it's not perfectly synchronized. I apologize for that. Again, that's that's all I can say about that. If I knew how to benchmark this properly, I would. So here we're waiting for the bully mong to come into the scene, and it is in. As far as I know, even though this is a movie scene, it is rendered. But as you can see, there are exactly the same, except for when he took out the eye from Claptrap. We saw it drop down to 20 frames per second. It seemed to hang for a moment there. Every once in a while, I am seeing an interrupt. I'm not sure if it's NVIDIA's driver or if it's something in Ubuntu. Uh, my friend on Arch Linux also experienced the same thing. So we've come to the end of the video, and the conclusion is that the gameplay is practically indifferent to Windows except in two major parts. First off, the Linux port has no physics whatsoever. So those cool particles that you can get, those massive amounts of uh, destruction that you can get on the Windows side, you can't get on the Linux side just yet, but hopefully they will bring it along in time. Aspir and Feral are very professional about this. The second part is that the Linux port is missing the launcher. Now, I'm not sure if there is supposed to be a launcher, but I don't feel that this is very critical. Maybe some people would be bugged out about not having it, but I'm more annoyed that I have the launcher on Windows. I'd rather it not be there and just go in-game to do my settings, but that's just my personal preference. So lastly, what we saw is that initially at the beginning, when there's a lot of uh, effects happening in the scene, in terms of environmental effects, it does seem to affect the Linux port quite a bit, at least on Ubuntu's side losing up towards 15 frames per second at worst, uh, downwards to 10 frames per second. But when I'm actually playing with people, there isn't really any issue. I played co-op for up to 4 to 6 hours with an, an Arch Linux friend and a Windows 7 friend, and the only time the game crashed was once during my Windows 7 friend, I believe his game was unable to synchronize with hours of our internet connection, so his game crashed. And the second time when my Arch Linux friend crashed, I personally have not experienced any crash whatsoever. So it's a pretty solid port. And that is it for this video, guys. Sorry about my ramblings at the end. I hope you enjoyed this, and there might not be a video from me for quite a long time in the future. If I can set aside time, I will. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments, your ideas down below. I do read them, even if I can't always reply to them. I hope you enjoyed watching this, and thanks for watching.